Hello, my name is Matt Jaquan, a.k.a. Recluse, and I'm here with Roland hanging out at American Musical Supply. And I'm going to talk to you today about the DJ202, which is the latest uh, addition to the Roland DJ family um, and very much in line with our flagship controller, the DJ808. This is a, a really unique controller, uh, really high quality build, especially for this price point. But where it gets interesting is we've added a drum machine and a sequencer to this format. And we'll talk a little bit about what that means for you as a creative producer or DJ using this. Um, it's a Serato intro controller, so it does not come with a full license, but you have the option to upgrade uh, if you want some of those advanced features, which we'll touch on a little bit. Um, now looking at the controller, one of the first things you'll probably notice uh, in a controller the size, the platters are quite a bit bigger than what you'll see on uh, other controllers in this price range. Um, so having these big platters is really great in addition to the fact that they're low latency. So you're going to get a lot better resolution when you're scratching. Uh, and you'll notice it straight away if you demo these anywhere. Um, in addition, uh, we have some interesting uh, features as well. Uh, a MIDI output. So that allows you to expand quickly what you're doing um, and sync external instruments to your 202, which we'll demo in a little bit. Um, and as I mentioned before, there's a sequencer and a drum machine built into this. Now, unlike the DJ to wait, there's no dedicated uh, step sequencer at the top of the unit uh, like we see another one. But what we have is the sequencer living in the pads here. Um, so if I hit start, I'm just going to turn it down. You can see. Uh, the sequencer playing across. There we go. Now we're in sequencer mode. So you can see the step sequencer going across the pads, 1 through 8, 9 through 16, which is pretty cool. So we also have a drum machine living right in the 202. And these aren't samples. These are actually using Roland's ACB analog circuit behavior technology to generate these sounds. They sound really great. And if you're paying attention, these sounds are ubiquitous through all modern music from early 80s, rap, house, techno, all the way up to trap today. And they live all in this unit. So let's just have a quick listen. Here's our 808 sounds. You can play them on the pads just like that. You can record them real time, which is quite cool. Um, you can also access the 909 sounds. Like so. So it's pretty unique offering to have a controller at this price point also come with a sequencer and a drum machine. Now I mentioned the sequencer that obviously works with the sounds that I just played you in Audition, but that sequencer will also work with your Serato sampler. Um, and this is the only controller other than the 808 and the 505, which we're also just launching, that allows you to do that. You can load your sampler up with any kind of sounds, uh, be they drum sounds or loops. Uh, acapellas, anything, you load in there, you can sequence and create something with the 202. Now, the way this is really meant to be used is first and foremost, it's a DJ controller. You want a DJ with it? By all means. It's very portable. It's got uh, carry handles on the side, uh, very light, easy to throw in a bag. Um, it's bus powered, so it's very easy to just connect to your computer and you're ready to rock. Uh, but if you want to take your performance to the next level, you want to stand apart from the pack. And let's face it, the pack is expanding quickly. A lot of DJs out there, this is the unit for you. Who else is going to be able to play drums on top of their set to create a remix on the fly, to be able to create the basic sketches of production right in this unit? This is wholly unique in that sense, and you could get really, really creative with it. A couple other things to consider on the DJ202. Uh, the mixer section, uh, you have built-in filters here. So these actually will access the Serato DJ uh, combo filter. They sound really good. Those effects in Serato DJ are second to none. Um, in addition, you have dedicated transport controls. So I know in other controllers, sometimes you have to use shift to get into uh, the performance pads to hit stop and start. You have dedicated controls right here, so it's very easy to control your music that way. Now, if you do upgrade to Serato DJ, uh, as I said, this is an intro controller, but with that Serato DJ upgrade, you get a whole other world of, of access to some advanced features, um, including the slicer feature, which is built in here. Uh, and also, if you were to upgrade to, say, um, Pitch and Time, you have access to a feature known as Pitch Play, which is a relatively new feature that appears you know, on not too many controllers that gives you an incredible uh, power to transpose your songs in real time. So again, a really cool technique for 
uh, creating remixes on the fly, adding your drum machine, your sequencer, transposing those tracks, all those things combined with say the MIDI output and adding some keyboards really lets you push your creativity to its fullest potential. So there you have it, the DJ202. If you're interested, come on over to AmericanMusical.com to check it out.